The ultimate aim of protein crystallography is to create a three-dimensional model of a protein. No other technique gives you the incredible resolution that crystallography does. Proteins are too small to see through a microscope, but with crystallography you can see details at the atomic level. Since proteins lie at the heart of all biological processes, these studies are central to many of the research programs at the John Innes Center. I've been using the technique of protein crystallography for 30 years now, but I'm still excited by the prospect of seeing a new protein structure for the first time. The process is a bit like solving a 3D jigsaw puzzle, with the pieces being the amino acids, which are the building blocks of proteins. When a scientist comes to us with a protein that they wish to know the structure of, we offer advice, training, and assistance throughout the whole process. The first step is to grow crystals of the purified protein, which is often the biggest hurdle we may have to overcome. It may take many attempts to get suitable crystals. Fortunately, we have robots to help us. Once we have good crystals, we send them to a national facility called the Diamond Light Source near Oxford. Diamond is a particle accelerator called a synchrotron. It has a ring half a kilometer in circumference around which electrons travel at close to light speed. This produces high intensity x-rays which we shine onto each tiny protein crystal. The resulting diffraction patterns are then used to create the 3D jigsaw puzzle that we use to build a model of the protein structure. The experiments are performed using robots and, incredibly, we can operate these remotely from the John Innes Center. Tony Maxwell is looking for novel compounds that bind to an enzyme called DNA gyrase that is essential for the survival of bacteria. We support Tony Maxwell and many other scientists within the John Innes Center by delivering a structural biology service, providing detailed 3D representations of important biological molecules. Our work here has real impact. For example, providing deep insights into antibiotic resistance or plant disease. By continuing to explore the sub-microscopic world, we will enable even more groundbreaking research at the John Innes Centre.